uh, yeah, my name is Tim. I'm um, talking about uh, having the open scheme in them of framework, open scheme in the future. Uh, this is a work in progress with more. Quick chaotic is about just code time output. Code time output is a lot of what's the talk about it. Uh, and Caught me uh, afterwards, so I'll uh, just send a topic in slides and then I'll talk about it a little more. Maybe with some discussion, we will, we will make something out of it. Uh, long term open system user, it's a very good point of choice. Quite wonderful for uh, some years. Uh, we are using open system. Um, I want area for protecting our own gold sites. Um, so I have two lines of code for talking about it. Um, <coughs> this is actually using Python. Um, for those who wanted to see it, it's a lot of text files. Can I read the meaning of it? No. <laughs> so no one? Well, Packer is uh, solving one problem everybody with virtualization wants to have because uh, any virtualizer is a huge security problem. Um, most people end up with shell scripts or doing mental simulations of shell scripts. That sounds different. The other one has a lot of that structure. Um, you have to do that uh, for every virtualizer you're really using. Like uh, we are using uh, either bare metal templates for open systems on the tower, and you have a test framework on the MacBook and on the box. So we are testing environment based on same server. Um, we are moving now to KVM because same server is getting. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Never know my security issues. Um, so you end up with a um, script in here, script in there. Um, your post provisioning may still use the Angular or source type or whatever. Um, Packer is an um, open source software application tool and it's more or less a Ruby framework. Which is abstracting you from, from all applications to different virtualizers. You can have the same install behavior or from last step for Pentel KVM virtual box, AWS, Azure, you name it. And also, you can just put those provisioning into it. And in the end, you have. Uh, one JSON file uh, doing all the work. Um, you end up with images for AWS or VirtualBox or whatever uh, based on the same configuration files in Packer. And by that means um, you can have consistency in the testing environment if you're really running those those things. Um, so that's all, uh, all the solving part. And um, Packer is available on open system already. Um, uh, yeah, and Packer is written in Go. So to me, it was just learning yet another language. Because the previous project in background that we saw Packer was all in Ruby. Now I have to start with Go. Um, so the final talk will have some some ramblings about uh, if you are a starter going up there. There are some hit points, so to say. Um, yeah, Hacker is available, and it has a plugin infrastructure. So you have the Hacker framework itself, and then adding support for the provisional or virtualizer or whatever. It's just a 
Google Plugin included in the Packer Primer, a self tracking row, and then you can just uh, hook that plugin into the Packer installation, and then you have support for whatever you think about this important to you. Um, you need to learn the goal and this is to develop there, of course, so you just like that roll up package and we put that stuff back on with the um, Apple plugin and after a while you will notice that um, calling the go compiler and packaging and all that from your current working directory where you have it for you and we are moving away from data and try to keep all result in binary and somewhere else. Like this would be binary in the path. And then just rehash the um what I was looking for my experience was in for your packer plugin and then it will just blow up and would say like I cannot find this in that library in order. Needs some some base one variables and the implementation there is well not very sufficient. <coughs> so as we have uh, we have open system in GitHub and uh, there is a uh, framework itself is already available as a whole or package if you're interested. Uh, for example, uh, one is um, great is uh, I have uh, already started, of course, working process um, with the plugin, which is currently doing the most basic things like uh, firing up the, the VM um, and attaching uh, entities to it. Run whatever install or configure, and then um, give you a um, resulting image depending on the format you have. So, like basically, for every virtualizer, the image is just a raw disk image, and then maybe some uh, little XML file or whatever we need to set up, or like run up two ports, four gig of RAM, or something like that. And for this, Definitions there are things like six standards, so like all we have, whatever. Everybody needs uh, his own thing, but Packer will take care of that. Um, while working on that, I had the problem that the OpenBSD installer is too clever. <laughs> so, you are booting from a disk, but Maybe you want to have a resulting image that will be networking all the time because that's what you do in the cloud environment. So I was trying to overcome that with something like configuration or auto install or whatever. The problem is that you are like 20 cycles late for booting. The installer already detected you're booting from this, there's no network installed for you. Also, <laughs> the resulting image it will always try to move from this, but of course, um, this is not what we want to. I was um, discussing with, uh, with Claudio about hackathon in particular. It wasn't an OpenSD hackathon, but the Research for Data Center. And, well, typically you would end up with something like, okay, the installer was very clever and you have now a disk based boot environment basically. And we will just hack post installation to redo that by uh, writing DHCP version in the host frame dot uh, IX0 and all that. So they said, hey wait, we have open source, we have open PC developers, let's add it. And after some more, so he was adding a flag to VMCTL and to um, VMD. So 
supporting we can find your method of moving uh, despite what you are actually doing like you are moving from this or from an empty image but you say more or less is how the installer this was a method so the installer would try to create from the and we get an answer from the end. In the, the internal slide, is something that we saw here as well. Um, to come up with uh, more support, because I need the only network control, but it said, well, let's make it uh, more flexible and have this is your own thing. Excellent. <coughs> So instead of, ha uh, of having uh, some bad custom workaround, we can break um, maybe two releases later. We now have um, uh, well, official support to demand for that. Uh, and the good thing is, this one can be used for your uh, own scripting framework to say, no, we don't want that. Oh, we don't want to use Packer. We have our own stuff because there are all these alternatives, tuning this or whatever. Uh, this will help you a lot. So I'm moving from this, but the installer will assume it was from that. So, as I um, this will be finished. Well, <laughs> I will have a full presentation in another one. And then we some, some more deep work on how to use this and how to build this attitude. So um, I need to add support of, for example, suspend the VM to snap it. Application then making a micro part of and the things we did backlog last year, I was presenting and hacking on my um, backlog support. And there's still no um, support available because um, it's a bit painful to create Ruby buttons, so to say. And especially in background performance, they are not, they have open source. Everything but Python. That's it. Because it's too complicated to support the Python code. Several people um, did uh, well, re engineering it and whatever, and have to integrate that to uh, actually have that. So after, maybe for personal. So it's a nice thing to integrate um, hopefully steam image with Packer and then run it in Python for this and add some more stuff. Uh, maybe uh, the presentation for that is done. So if you want to get this going for tutorial, and there are no, yeah, and there are no any. Um, one point is the um, tool. I was thinking to myself, like, oh, we are back in the month. <laughs> so we had to go with it for a little bit, maybe. But I would more like to see something like the new price of Rob on a high page. So we have found the action framework. Um, we install it, like, it in it, run it, just like the site. Will be coming because we just need to do this. So, yeah, like I said, I'll see you another one for the presentation. Uh, this uh, output of about um, using all the components I was working on in the last months and years, like uh, now Packer, uh, adding up uh, monitoring stuff. I will give a uh, Outlook or work in progress if you have fun.
I promise to drop. I have zero slides here. <laughs> like this following, but anyway. Uh, the current working uh, code is on GitHub. Uh, code is here by last commit four months ago. Loaded it two commits, and while I'm here, I will uh, continue working for on that, so I have a lot of commits in the space. Hacker itself, the documentation, and all that, I've kind of the work started like the, the weapon work in Switzerland, uh, Laos, and the hackbook Laos, or hackbook like, which are the free uh, data center industries. Of course, thanks for to Claudio and Mark for invitation. We had a discussion with you about how the DHCP internals from the FTP work to get it running properly. So I see you there. Well, discussing intentions and I'm having a very hard time how this works. Thank you. Oh, that's great. I will try and if it works, we will be here some deep this weekend. Yeah. Okay, getting emails for that. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> so uh, any questions uh, on, on that page? Maybe we go rush through it and see if we are coming with the right input or whatever I can go. Um, we are still in, in the works to integrate it more. Uh, for now, we are, we are we are using a lot of chat and answer and having the answer rules, but yeah. moving that into um, an online work for walls will be coming. Um, but we want to have it self uh, hosted. Uh, not to have this work and of course, background. And um, something more from this No, I think it's mainly the question. What is the address that you need to get about the company? Like, if I trust you, I can find you. What is the key? This is a thousand, a thousand people. It's just web, right? Uh, the web API will not marry the security of the host. So, what does Vault do in general? Um, well, more or less managing passwords and security. What do you do? Um, I mean, for example, there's a packet plugin uh, for um, using it on free. With the DHAC Swift library, you have a package configuration and spin up with the AMP. Uh, and then getting the default version of your package. So, a lot of virtualizers support it. Um, So uh, the virtualizers are called builders, uh, and as you can see, that's uh, only the officially supported one. Like you will find uh, several others, uh, especially on GitHub or whatever, 
So, yeah. Something else? Yeah. Shows. Yeah, all stuff. Uh, <laughs> um, so I hope the vendor boxes are on the outside already. Somewhere between the not here to pick up. Oh, okay. Otherwise, you can have to do that again for business code. I'm kind of ambivalent either way about the I'm not Well, sometimes people are just stubborn, or, or I have a problem, and it's the only I know. I'm not reaching out, so it's causing their intention. Else, might just come up with it. Why aren't you working with Cosmos or some other vendor? That's, that's also a problem. Whereas you can be amazing, you can be a shared script and you can work and end up with something and um, then they, they find out or not that they're working on other things. Are you going to be doing the So even if you you think um, yeah well uh, goes off there and I have no idea of that um, the the framework uh, you have to be put into is it's not that difficult or on a communication interface um, and otherwise it's more or less a shell wrapper we're using. I'm using the, the native tools anyway, like 90% of the effective code is reaching out and calling VMCTL. Yeah, yeah. But the nice thing is, uh, exactly what Peter said, uh, you do not have to have two shell scripts to create one for virtual box and one for VM or native, uh, but you have one for just calling under the hood the different uh, Forward. So move.